So I'm going to be covering D1 for sports coaching, uh, starting with a skill to talk about, um, the differences and similarities between individual coaches and team coaches. So I'm going to start by talking about the skill of communication. Uh, the two coaches will be Ivan Lendl, who is an individual coach in tennis for Andy Murray, or was, and Roy Hodgson, who is um, the manager and also head coach for the England football team. Uh, so similarity-wise, uh, they both need to be have a lot of clarity uh, in their communication skills. So the message that they send across has to be very clear, um, and the differences for that are with Ivan Lendl uh, being an individual coach, he, being one on one with his client, he can be very clear, he can make sure that they understand by asking questions and they can talk about it between them. Uh, however with Roy Hodgson it's hard for him to know that everybody understands because he has to talk to 20 plus people at one time. Um, obviously he could do the same, he could ask the group a question to make sure they all understand, however even that, you know, um, it's hard to know that everybody will understand without being able to talk to them thoroughly. Um, <coughs> next is the, me the actual message they send across um, when communicating. Uh, so obviously the similarity there is, again, it has to be clear, but the differences are that um, with Ivan Lendl he's able to take his time over it, so like I said before, with clarity. Um, being one on one, you can take as long as you want with clients and make sure they understand exactly what they need to do. Um, but with Roy Hodgson, obviously, um, he's he must be able to get his message across to multiple people at once. So he'd have to, for example, project his voice a lot more um, so they can all hear him. Um, and he would have his own techniques as well of uh, getting his point across to the group uh, that he would have picked up from experience. Uh, and finally, listening is also a large communication uh, skill. Um, so the similarities here are they both need to be able to listen to their client or clients uh, to make sure that they understand, to make sure that they're okay with what they're doing. Um, the differences obviously are with Ivan Lendl, he's able to have a long conversation again with his client. Um, th they can speak for as long as they want between each other during the session. Um, so he's got plenty of time to listen and understand his client's needs. Um, however, for Roy Hodgson, obviously during a session it would be difficult for him to listen to everybody at once. Um, obviously he would be able to do some one-on-one -on -one with his clients, but if everybody had a problem and he needed to listen to all of them, that would take a very long time. and it's very difficult to do so, so it's much more likely that with Roy Hodgson, with his football team, at the end of a session he'd probably get them all together as a group and have some questions fired at him so that he can answer them and try and help them as best he can.